Hello guys and welcome to my Wii screen. I just wanted to show this before we start recording Majora's Mask again. I was just wanting to show you everything. I got a save update channel because Skyward Sword has a lot of problems. I got Skyward Sword here. That would be a future LP. And I got Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I got Super Metroid, the first Super Mario Bros. and the third one. I also got Metroid. Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG, and Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis will be a very future one. This will it will be the closest one to us. And it looks like I have to put in my GameCube game. So just to touch base on my Wii screen so you guys don't think I'm playing off of the Wii version of Majora's Mask. And let's start. Okay. Nintendo. As I said before, there's a Wind Waker demo, the first Zelda, second Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. There's also like a retrospective of all the Legend of Zelda games and a special movie from Wind Waker. Nothing too special. So how about we move on? Okay. Now it says, you may notice slight sound irregular irregularity when playing the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Is a oh, I put it in the wrong slot. There. So I can't tell which one is slot A and which one is slot B, but who cares? Alright, so let's continue on. So guys, now that we're back, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got a couple pieces of heart and we moved on to here. And in this episode, we will continue on with our journey. So if you run over here, this is actually the way you're supposed to go. You can go over here. Now this game has one of the saddest scenes, I think, ever in the game. And it's very sad. And we have the first introduction to Wolfos. These are snow Wolfos, they're just white. Well, looks like we got Tingle here, so let's shoot him down. Alright, so what you got here, Tink Forest Tingle? He's just telling us about his life story again. Okay, so you could buy Ramon Romani Ranch, but we already have that. So let's buy a Snowhead. Or do we? I don't think we do. I think I forgot to shoot him down. Alright, so now we have the map of Snowhead. You know, now that we've done that, I'll show you the map screen. So here's Romani Ranch. We did buy it. Then we got Deku Palace. We got the Woodfall. Clock Town and Snowhead up here. And there's all this area. We still have all of the right area and all of the left area to clear. Ah, <coughs> uh, that was a weak one. Okay, so let's continue on. Run, run, run. Alrighty, so if you run over here, you can see there's another business scrub. Just like in Clock Town and the Swamp. Like I said, that will be a side quest for later on. There's one in each area, and I'm not exactly there yet, so yeah. What's that shadow there? Woot, we need to get a fairy child. Have my sta stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you have made the strength. May have the strength to change the fate of this land as I expected. I can't read. But the road ahead is more, even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons who are around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in, s in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse, collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. 
So what you proceed? Yes. Hoot. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of, the, of this mountain after all. I shall take you to the air now. Flying. I shall take to the air now. Flying toward that shrine across the way. So follow me behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you. In the true path. Why did you press B? I wasn't finished. Are you ready? Follow behind me. Okay, I strongly suggest if you're wearing the bunny hood, take it off. Just take it off, okay? So you can see he's dropping feathers here. So let's... And landing on invisible blocks. Now from the sounds of it, it's ice. Damn it. It seems things are not going well for you. Good. Fear not. It never goes well at first for anyone. But by no means should you grow impatient. Impatience brings uneasiness and distracts the heart. Will you try again? Yes, I will. Very good. I shall fly towards that shrine. Follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. It said, let your feelings guide you. And the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Fall behind me. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. Press L as many times as you can during this. Just to get your bearings straight. I just... Ugh, damn it. Okay, land on this one. Okay, now let's go in. Oot, I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by your appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest that lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Okay, so let's go in. Something very useful in here. And we got the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see it. Mysteries that are invisible to the naked eye. Seeing the truth drains magic power. So to stop it, tilt, do whatever you want. Alrighty, princess. So I'm actually going to use bombs here. I'm going to take out my... Thing. I'm gonna throw bombs all over the place. Okay. So, in these chests, there's 50 rupees in here. Let's see how it disappears. There is, I think, another 50 in this. No, there's 20. 20 rupees extreme! Damn it. Okay, then over here is nothing. Okay, so there's only two treasure chests. So how about we move on? I want my bunny hood back. But I don't want to put it on yet. And if you open the Loons of Truth here, you can see that these were the blocks that we were jumping on. See, it's so much easier. What's that over there? Looks like a g-g-g-g-g-g-g-ghost! Okay, so let's go talk to him. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then fall behind me. Now what I do is I strongly suggest that you guys turn off your lens of truth and just run with them. Okay, it'll make everything a lot easier for you. And see, you can run ahead of them if you know the path, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just run up here. Oops, hit my microphone there. Run over here. <laughs> he can take a while, and also I think if you get too far away from him, he stops. So let's go see if he did. Yeah, I think he stopped on us. Yeah, there he is. He's just taking his dilly dally time. So, as you can remember, there is a shadow. So you can just follow this shadow, and you can get there pretty easy. Okay, so turn on your lens of truth every time you get to one of these. 
Okay. And turn it off, go over here. This helps you save a lot of magic power for later on. Okay, so he runs off, and what is up with that wolf? Okay, don't even worry about the wolves right now. Just follow him. Alrighty, come on. You can do it. Yeah, with the N64 idea, I think I'm thinking about buying Ocarina of Time. And I'll play it off of there just for your guys' enjoyment. Okay. So he runs he goes over here. And oh my god, I'm gonna have a fun time going over just getting over that wall. Oh man, that's the best part. Need some magic here. Okay. This is why you kind of need the bunny hood for this game. Okay, so jump on this. Try not to fall off. <sighs> okay, let's do it again, but not fall off this time. Where'd that one around me go? Oh, okay, I see. I see. And see, so you can take as long as you want here. It really doesn't matter. I'm sick of this spinning. Okay. So, once you get on this, I highly suggest you use the bunny hood here. Just so you can run and get on it easier. Alright, and then take out your bunny hood. And if you're playing with me, or playing along with me, take this path exactly how I'm doing it. Okay? Always take the path the way I'm taking it. Da 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 da, and we're up. Alright, so let's go over here. Alright, let's get inside. The sewing one said that the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the Third. The blood of proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a re re renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off the snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village, then the blizzard at no Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now, here I am. How infuriating. As I am, as I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic. The wa Soaring One also told me that you are, you are able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows any way that you can. Do it with suffice. Will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. Well, if that didn't make any sense. And I'm just going to let you guys listen to this because this is actually a part where you actually get to hear the song very well. So, here you go.
one of the saddest scenes in the game. There's actually another one here soon, later on. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. You got the Gorons mask. This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Goron. Tilled again to return to normal. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. Okay. So what you want to do here is... Actually, you're going to need your bottle for this one. scary, right? And actually, come to think of it, I might be able to have a couple more bottles here, but I really don't care right now. One bottle should do. You actually get a second bottle later on, but that's not until later. You got hot spring water. Hurry up. Look what you get to do. Now, once you hit the full... I'm surprised he hasn't said anything yet. You, you're Dar. No, no, you're not the great Di Darmani, are you? Then, just whose grave was that I'm making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Okay. So, do it. Come on. Yes. Okay. So you can do that. And you can actually build up speed. Which works out very well for this. There is a trick to stopping that. Which I will try to do eventually like that. Just pull back real quick and press it again. So you don't have to waste magic. Okay. So let's run up to this. And let's use the hot spring water. This is actually not originally what you're supposed to do. But this is... I'm going to show you what you can do with this. There's another hot springs down here. I will show you exactly what we need to do with that. Once we need to. Okay. So let's go up here. Let's go back over to this odd building over here. It looks pretty interesting. And oh crap. I forgot something. I actually forgot something. If you have 200 rupees, you can buy a bomb back there. I will do that later. And, okay. So all you have to do is walk up here. And as you're in a ball, press B and you can pound down. Alright, so let's go up here. Ah, what is that annoying cr cry? Uh, I did terrible there. Okay, so if you go in here, this guy's talking. Wah, huh? Uh, uh, wah, d daddy, daddy, huh? I'm so cold, daddy. Huh? Yeah. Ah, Darmy, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Oh, just so happens. That. Go this way. Uh, I'm gonna do something here. Just real quick so I have some supplies when I get back. Just so happens that that spring that we opened up, we can actually get something out of there. And we can do something with it. Okay, so it's. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay. But you know what? We will do that next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. See you later.